I'd like to take you back in time this week into the history of the transport system for buses in Manchester. It's a long one to the current day and I believe that all this is going to be correct to the best of my knowledge. So, a long time back on the 1st of January 1824, the first horse-drawn bus service was started by John Greenwood, who was the proprietor of the Pendle and toll gates. A few years later a number of horse-drawn buses operators came together in the Manchester area and formed the Manchester Carriage Company. In the 1880s there was a further consideration with the tramways which became the Manchester Carriage and Tramways Company which did include the Manchester Suburban Tramways Company. On the 7th of June 1901, there was another shift in the operations and electric trams started to operate under the company name Manchester Corporation Tramways Department. Two years later, Farmer Carriage Company was wound up in 1903. Moving on a few years again, this time to the mid-1966, where the name of the public operation was changed to the Manchester City Transport, which had a different colour per area and their coat of arms for their area they operated in. After that we moved to what people might know and remember a bit more. On the 1st of November 1969, the control of Manchester City Transport and other council transport departments were transfer transferred to the South East Lancashire North East Cheshire Passenger Transfer Executive. That is a mouthful otherwise known as Soundneck PTE, which ran in their lovely orange and white buses we all know. That didn't last long however, and just five years later, on the 1st of April 1974, Selneck operate, operated name changed to Greater Manchester Transport and the coverage was expanded. Later on in that year, Greater Manchester Transport had a rebrand and became Greater Manchester Passenger Transport Executive, which we all well known as the GMPTE. The GMPTE lasted until 2011. However, in its long running there were some changes. On the 21st, 27th of February 1986, the Greater, Greater Manchester Transport Bus Operator was transferred and became a separate entity. The Greater Manchester Buses Limited was the, to comply with the Transport Act in 1985, which gave the other name we well know, GM Buses. This was used as its new trading name, which also brought this was this fantastic advert. Hey, we're here for you. Here comes the GM Bus, picking you up like we always do. We're changing our name to GM Buses on October 26th. Make sure you don't miss the bus. Check the leaflet we'll be sending you for details. Or visit your local bus information office. Same good service, same good value. Here comes the GM bus. Pick you up tomorrow as usual. The, these also brought the lovely orange and brown buses that were, that were a landmark in Manchester. On the 13th of December 1993, GM buses split up further into GMB North and GMB South which was an approximate for the area they covered sadly just four months later they were sold out to the employee buyout teams then just three years later in that from then in February GMB South was sold to the Stagecoach Group which became Stagecoach Manchester and to this day now is Stagecoach Manchester and Wigan you can check this by simply looking on the green discs in the windows. Stagecoach Manchester still operate under the trade name of GM Buses South on their operator's licence. The next month GMB North was sold to First Bus, which eventually became First Greater Manchester. Once again, First Bus carried on the trading name of GMB South. Now in 2019, I believe First still use it in Oldham. 
However, on that fact, I'm not 100% sure. Back to the GMPT now. Now they've sold their bus operations to private companies, it left them in charge of overseeing the operations of the companies and choosing what services they'd pay to run if there was a profitable, whether they'd scrap a service. There was also in charge of all public information around the buses, whether this was on a bus stop, in a bus station, or even on the bus itself. A lot of operations by private companies must be agreed with, for example, how bus stations are used, what buses are used. These are just some examples. However, in 2011, they went through yet another rebrand to follow suit with London, and they became TFGM, which stands for Transport for Greater Manchester. With all that said, now, in 2019 and 2020, they are still TFGM. But the rebrand wasn't the best. And you're still able to see the original history of the GMPTE within Manchester. With GMPTE signs still appearing on bus stations, bus stops, interchanges, signs, posters, you name it, it still appears. Well, that is the history of Manchester Public Transport. Well, at least the road transport part of it. Please, if you did like this content, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button and press the bell to keep up with all the latest up-to-date stuff that we do. If you've got something to add to the history, please do comment it down below and we're happy to chat about it. There is also a Discord link down below as well, which you can come and chat to us. And obviously, give, please give these videos a good thumbs up if you've liked them, it all helps. Just a word though before you all tune on, this video could not be made without the support of the wonderful patrons. I urge you to go take a look at and look at them. You can find a link below. They get extra content, extra videos, uncut videos, you name it, they get it. Early access also to all videos. All donations that are put to our wonderful beast uh, will go to the Mighty B10. And this will help us to get her to visit her home in Dundee. You can also follow us at mantbusses.com. We even have the Discord server, which I mentioned before. Link again, down below, where you can join and chat. It's only a small community, but it can be. we can make it a powerful one. We also have merch available online, and Sean is working through that at the moment, which is mantbusses.com forward slash merch. As always, thank you for watching. Please stay safe out there on the road. Thank you very much.